Okay guys, so today we've got a move that's come from the UK to Guernsey. So I'm gonna show you how that process works. We're down here at the harbour at the moment. Um, I'm just waiting on the other vehicle and then we're gonna go into the harbour, go and unload the container and get everything delivered for our customer. So I'm just gonna show you how that process works basically. It's a beautiful day here. Look at this, calm as anything. So yeah, like I say, I've done a couple of videos on moving from Guernsey to the UK. So I thought it'd be good to do one the other way. Not to state the obvious, but our colleagues have collected the goods in the UK. They've loaded the container, shipped it from Paul to Guernsey. So now it's in Guernsey and we're gonna go and unload it. As you can see, we've just opened the container up and it's all tight, secured gated so nothing's moved on its travel from Paul to Guernsey and now we're just going to load our vehicles. There you go guys, this is a prime example of the access to the Sorry, start again. Um, this is a prime example of the access difficulties we get in Guernsey. I mean, we're delivering to this house here. But this is a busy road. You know, there's a pavement. If we actually reverse up to this door here, all we're gonna do is block the pavement. The pedestrians can't get through. We're gonna block the road. Um, so we've got a part like this with the hazards on. We've left enough room so crowds can get through. Okay, so we're finished for today, guys. You can see the three vans are all parked up. We've delivered the two moves from the container. Um, like I say, these two moves are from the UK to Guernsey. And um, yeah, that's our process. I hope it makes sense, this video, of how our process works. Um, just in case you didn't get it before, what happens is our customer contacts us in Guernsey. They tell us they want to move from the UK to Guernsey. We conduct a video survey where we calculate the volume of their move. Um, assess the pack and requirements, the vehicle access, number of stairs, and so on. Um, and then we engage our UK colleagues. They'll handle the UK side of things for us. They'll pack everything up, load the container that you saw in our video, um, and arrange shipment from Paul to Guernsey. We're still the project managers, by the way. Our customers are only dealing with us. They're not dealing with our colleagues. They're dealing with our Guernsey office here. But we work in partnership with our UK colleagues, you know, so they're handling the operational side of the UK. But as far as anything else, any questions for our customer, we're, we're project managing the move. Yeah, so once they've collected and it's shipped from Paul to Guernsey, once it's customs cleared, then we are able to crossload the goods into smaller vehicles. We have to use these smaller vehicles in Guernsey because of the vehicle access. Um, but the container actually turns up in the UK at the UK address. The goods never come out of the container until they get to Guernsey and we have to put things in these smaller vehicles because it's Guernsey, because of the small lanes, tight driveways, we have to use them. But so nothing can go missing because your goods are either in the container, which has an inventory as well, or in the vehicles. Um, there's nowhere else anything can go. Um, customs wise, our UK colleagues would have made out an inventory in the UK. Um, and there is a customs form, which is a customs C15 form, which you, you can get it off of our website or just contact us if you need that, if you're moving to Guernsey, it's a really simple form. But that and the inventory, customs clears your goods into Guernsey and enables free circulation of the goods. 
I hope this video makes sense guys. Please subscribe to Relocations TV. We're going to be bringing you more videos like this. We're going to give you an insight to the moving industry uh, from our perspective of it, working in Guernsey and Jersey. And we hope to share our knowledge with you. And we hope to you gain some knowledge because it's not really talked about, you know, the, the moving industry. There, it's often looked upon as you know an easy trade you're just putting things in a van taking things off a van but it's much more complex than that it really is there's a big process that goes behind everything especially with the larger moves um, especially with customs paperwork you know we get all kinds of issues it's, it's not an easy task um, removals or any log logistics in fact as always thanks for watching guys i'll speak to you soon